So did you all know that 300,000 years, uh, 300,000 deaths a year can be traced back to obesity? That's according to SurgeonGeneral.com. Obesity is a problem that's been in the United States for a long time, and it can be easily prevented. One of the ways is by easily doing exercise every day. And then another problem with obesity is that many people do not know the risks of obesity, right? So to know about my information, what I did is I researched um, scholarly sources. I went online, uh, traced back professional trainers, and found out some pretty interesting stuff, right? So obesity has been increasing in the United States for a long time. And like I said, it can be easily prevented with a regular exercise routine. So the problem, um, jumping into my topic, the problem of obesity keeps growing in the United States at a steady rate. According to um, uh, Modifield, he says that in the 1990s, the obesity rate was 12%, whereas in 2005, that was a 23%. That's a Ten, that's almost 10% in less than 10 years, in 13 years. All right, and then we go to the Center of Disease Control, the CDC, and they say that in 2010, five years later, we were at 36% just in adults. Whereas at, uh, kids, it was at 17%. All right, now medical news today, so, um, well, now we go into what is it mean to be fat? or what is considered obese, right? The medical news today says that anybody who's obese is considered to have 20% or more fat in their body. So if you have 18, you're not obese, but you're considered bigger, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, medical news today says that the problem of this is originated because of the intake of calories that you take a day is bigger than the calories burnt. We'll get there, in a, we'll talk about it in a second. And also they say that the problem with obesity is that Many lives now are very sedentary. You go home, what you do? You turn on TV, you play your video games, you look at your phone, you go on Facebook. Nobody really goes outside anymore or does something. And it's because our society makes it up. But then we go to, what is a calorie, right? Shapesy says that a calorie is the amount of energy it takes for one liter of water to be heated by one degree Celsius. Too technical. It just means it's energy, the amount of energy that's going to be put into whatever you're doing, right? The same source says that calories are used by our body for everything. Energy, for movement, heat, whatever you do, talking. It's all about calories that you eat. Now, the problem with the intake of calories, as Dr. Karen Lawson says, is that if you intake too many calories, the calories that are not burned correctly, they're transformed into fat, and they cause uh, coronary artery disease disease, which is basically uh, your air arteries clog up and your heart doesn't get any oxygen anymore and you, it can cause problems, uh, stroke, uh, anything. And then the second problem with it is that um, it can cause diabetes. Like we know diabetes is just when your body can't process, uh, doesn't make insulin to process the sugar in foods, when, which in turn it adds to the problem of getting bigger and bigger or obesity, right? So, the problem, like, the problem of obesity can be easily contained. All you have to do is just have a regular exercise regime. Mayo Clinic says that the benefits, uh, there's few benefits to exercise. One of them is exercise regularly burns triglycerides, which is just a fancy name for fat. Uh, fats are made out of this. So if, as you exercise more, you burn more of these things, and it helps you out. And then. An added bonus to this is you're going to have more energy throughout your day. So if you feel like you're very tired one day, if you exercise, which people think most of the time you just get tired, actually your energy levels keep growing and growing and growing. Nicola Glanville says that exercise is very good for your body. It burns the calories, which, like we said, are the cause of obesity. Then two, as an added bonus, it strengthens your muscles and your um, joints. I want that, but anyway. And then also it enhances your metabolism. Your metabolism, as said by Nicole Hank Lansville, is just basically your ability to burn, uh, to process food quicker and to burn calories at the same time. It's kind of like your natural rate of processing food and burn, um, burning calories rather than an exercise-based kind of thing. 
Now, if you have DS's uh, healthstatus.com, they actually give you the amount of calories that you're burning if you do exercises. Like jogging for 15 minutes can burn up to 300 calories, and that's in 15 minutes. Now, boxing, a lot of people like to do MMA and stuff like that. Boxing in ring burns up to 250, and rock climbing, for the people that like to do that, is 220 calories for 15 minutes. That's not much time that you're spending. A lot of people think that you have to work out for hours before you even get to burn a consistent amount. You can jog for 15 minutes every day, and it'll be okay. In fact, the United States Department of Agriculture, they say that kids from the ages of 9 to 18 should work out for 60 minutes a day, whereas adults, 19 and up, should work out for about two, anywhere between an hour and 15 minutes to two hours and 30 minutes a week. Now think about it. You, all, you can run every day for 20 minutes and you meet the requirements, right? So in conclusion, <coughs> obesity is a serious problem in the United States, but it can also be very easily prevented by a simple exercise routine. So I think that we should all just go out there and be more active. Thank you very much.